I thought that you managed to create, let's say, the perfect balance between, you know, a thin language, the coming of age, and something more adult, you know, the struggles that, that we have to deal with even when we're adults. So how did you find that? that was that in the, in the script or in, in the novel? Uh, that, that was something I felt that was in the book. Um, I, when, I, when I first got the material, it was just a book only. So um, when I got into the script phase with the screenwriters, that's one of the things we talked about, that we wanted this film to be a film for everyone and not really talk down to young kids or make a young adult film because there's a lot of cliches and stereotypes that come with a lot of young adults films. So I would just approach it as an adult because we have a 16 year old girl as our protagonist and I feel like a lot of young kids are very smart and very sophisticated can be able to handle the approach to the film. I found that she's let's say we see that she's caught between two worlds you know her family her roots and then uh, the school she goes with, they're totally another world. And that's something that especially in this moment of life, kids are, are, are and not only kids are, are experiencing because it's, you know, you want to be treated equal, you want to be uh, in the crowd and accepted by the crowd, but at the same time, your differences are the ones that makes you unique. So it's very difficult to find uh, to find your identity in this. So how much of, of this, uh, let's say, bigger argument, big discussion was in, in your initial idea? Yeah, I thought that, you know, when I first read the book, I thought that was the most prominent personal story, which is Star finding her voice. But before you can find your voice, you have to reverse that back to the beginning. What is her, verse in the, her voice in the beginning of the story? And I found that their voice was conflicted. It was two different voices, star one, version one, star version two. And she was able to successfully navigate between these two worlds until the shooting of her best friend, which causes her to confront who she really is. So in both worlds in real life, you know, code switching, uh, we all sort of do it very prevalent in, in African-American you know, culture in terms of trying to fit in in the, in the professional world or in and around f friends who are in the white world. So but when you find yourself, I start realizing you become more authentic and true when you just yourself, being true as yourself. And I felt like that personal story was something that I wanted to navigate in the real story because it worked so well in the novel. What's the situation now? It's not the first time that I hear about the talk. So I was wondering, do you still need to have the talk with your children or something that maybe is it's, it's something that you don't, don't always need? Yeah, you always need to have the talk it's, um, because as long as there's race, you know, as long as there is a, a police officer who is armed, as long as there is no control of, of the gun control, um, and as long as there is a divided line in the country in terms of race and how we relate to each other, you always have to have the talk, especially, if, you know, a kid of color, especially like my son, you know, 15, I gave him that talk. And also um, when he watched the movie, you know, again, that talk comes up. Uh, most people talk, people of privilege, their talk is about the birds or the bees or it's about condoms or how to conduct yourself around sexuality. In African-American culture, you have to do that and have the talk to learn how to survive as well. Can, can a film like this, do you think, help uh, to, I don't want to use the, the, the term educate, but to, to let kids understand that, you know, that there are no differences, or as I was saying before, the differences are what make us unique. I think we need to be able to a film like this is very important to show that we are we all are different. We all have different experiences, but we must be able to respect and treat each other and recognize that in one another. And that by having that conversations and being honest and being brutally honest, the kind of conversation Star has with Haley or with Chris or with her uncle or with her dad, um, that shows that we can all become one and become stronger as long as we recognize and listen to one another. And I think that's the key. Grazie. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, that's good.